Hi everybody. All right, so this is going to be a fun video. I know I always joke, oh, this is an exciting thing. Or we're doing it. No, this one's actually going to be fun. So we're, we're finishing up uh, adding the new fitting to the remote oil filter. Uh, in the last video, I was describing that. So basically, the fitting that Airwolf sends you doesn't work. The NPT threading is fine and all, but when you torque that elbow on, it winds up facing like the wrong way. So torquing it back wouldn't isn't an option and under torquing it isn't an option either so instead we just replaced it with a flat fitting or a straight fitting and then an external elbow which we then needed to uh, secure which I will show after here I am fiddling with the front nose a little bit but today what we are going to do is we're going to mount the camera up to the top of the canopy well the bottom of the canopy and we are going to give this sucker a little bit of a run-up which is a very happy thing. So uh, essentially we're still in the phase of just trying to get the engine running without any oil or fuel leaks. There's my buddy Captain Midnight on hand to make sure everything is good. And we've got uh, my buddy David is here. There's the camera's suction cup to the to the canopy. There you go. Engine's happy. No leaks. Camera pointed in the wrong direction. Now in a second here you'll see uh oh 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 whoa oh, oh plane's moving. Why is the plane moving? Oh yeah. Because I haven't seated the brakes. There I just tried to run it up to fifteen hundred and <laughs> the brakes wouldn't hold because we haven't seated them yet. Much like the rings um, in your engine, your brakes must be seated for them to work properly. So, in, an, uh, in a couple more videos, you're going to see something really cool. We're going to do a little uh, taxiing around to sort of bleed the brakes in, uh, wear the brakes in. Anyway, so let's talk about back to the oil filter. Uh, go, here's the final picture. So this is the picture of what it looks like after. So you can see the fitting coming straight out of the oil filter housing, and then you can see the elbow that I put on top of that, uh, and then the old, uh, orange line that heads back towards the back of the engine. Uh, now, that wound up creating a big vibration point. So as you can see, I've got an Adele clamp on top of the, on top of the hose, and then another piece of thick alum, uh, copper bar stock is holding it in place. Now that sucker doesn't go anywhere. Actually, it's better than it was before. Because before, without that secure, without the Adele clamp into place, you could still sort of, you could still get a hold of the oil filter by hand and move the whole thing, right? It's definitely a, a vibrating sort of piece of <laughs> piece of work. But with that bar on there now, that thing doesn't move at all. So that's that's very happy. All right, looks like I have just dropped. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> that was the moment where the camera, uh, because I had the cam, I had the canopy up, and it's just a suction ram mount. Doesn't work too well. All right, so we're taking care of again some more last second things. Uh, need to finalize the cutouts on the bottom of the uh, cowl here. And there you can see they store stick out the bottom. Now, I leave it up to, I'm not leaving it up to you, but I, I, ask, I pose the question. Do I need to fashion some fairings around those exhausts? Yes or no? I'm feeling maybe? I don't know. Is it really worth it? I'm sorry, let me, let me state that again. I mean, obviously, it will eventually be worth it. And I do plan on doing it, just not now. I want to fly more than anything, for the love of God. 
<clears throat> okay, so there you can see my captain's chair uh, thing in action. That is how I can get the lower canopy on by myself. I use the old-fashioned folding captain's chair to sort of hold it in place, which is really cool. All right, thank you for joining me, everyone. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be bleeding the brakes so that we can actually get those suckers working. So thank you for joining me. See you soon.